What's up, y'all? It's Jay here. I'm just at Sushi Gin. I uh, just happened to get the Omakase D combo. Uh, it's quite a few rolls. I think there's 14, and there's like a lot of other different side dishes as they come. I'm just gonna eat it, try it out, and see how it is. And this is the first time I've ever actually had an Omakase experience. This is on Nelson, I believe. So it's on Nelson, and uh, yeah, happened to get the first. Roll here. So. Cheers, guys. Oh, wow. <laughs> I know I shouldn't be washing it down with tea, but uh, <laughs> nice and crunchy. Just everything coming together. It doesn't even have that fish kind of taste. Um, yeah, I think I got to cleanse the palate with uh, some ginger there. Just like the whole texture of it. It's like wow, really, really good experience. So. And uh, I'm gonna go for some miso. Oh, so next one is today's special. The inside one is uchiwa ebi. Maybe from from Japan. Wow. And uh, can I take this one? And the outside is salmon. And the inside this one is an egg from uchiwa ebi. What is this? Uchiwa ebi. So we just happened to get a second dish here. want to drop it. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna have it in one shot. Cheers guys. Salmon was nice and soft. In the middle, it had like a crunchy texture to it. And the veggies that it was plated on, it had like some, a bitter like soy sauce like element to it. So when you bite into it, like contrast the salmon, which was nice. And the salmon is typically softer, but when you bite into it, it has like crunchy wetness. And then the plate of uh, the bed of veggies, Kind of like dials it back and gives it a better taste to it. Anyways, we're gonna wait for the third dish and I uh, go from there. Next one is fish hotate and It 
it's like the uni is nicely plated on top. Um, yeah, it's very slippery in the sense that you've got to be very careful about how to proceed with this. Actually, you know what? I forgot to cleanse the palette from the last dish. Yeah. Oh, it's slippery. Oh no. Just having issues of scrapping. <laughs> Technical difficulty, guys. <laughs> uh, can I get a spoon? Finally got a spoon, scallop and uni. Cheers, guys. Mm. First time having uni. It kind of reminds me a lot like a like an oyster, and then after the scallop, it gives it a nice firmer texture to balance it out. Drop this. So scallop with some soy sauce and the uni. Good combination of just like a silky uh, dish here. So cheers guys. Second portion. Had to get a spoon actually. <laughs> kind of embarrassing but. <laughs> mm. Such fresh fish. Very interesting concept. Uh, but yeah, we'll wait for the uh, next dish. Stay tuned. Thank you. So, what is this? Abby. Abby? Sorry, I was watching some. What are you on the side? Next dish is a spot prawns with some wasabi, and uh, I'm not too sure what this is, but uh, definitely looks a little gooey, and uh, I'll just avoid it. Pop prawns with some wasabi on top. See how it is, guys. The texture is not as firm as I like it. Um, yeah, it's really hard to say or pinpoint actually for the spot prawns, like. It's all right. And we'll wait for the next dish, so. So in this dish, we got spotted prawns on top of baby prawns with half a tomato and uh, something under the I'm not too sure what that is. Dive into it. We'll use a spoon this time and uh, dive into it. I hope I don't drop it, guys. <laughs> Cheers. Final piece. 
Please. The bed of noodles that it's on, it's kind of like a little vinegary. <clears throat> Kind of balances out the um, the prawns there. Just the texture kind of gives it that nice contrast. Presented differently, one with oh. <coughs> rice is soaked with soy sauce, but uh, see how this one is. Mm. And this one is just a massive piece. Some soy sauce. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you so much. So the roll with the uh, rice and wasabi is nice. It gives you a nice like grainy texture with the rice. It wasn't too hard, just the right amount of moisture in there. And then the two tuna pieces just by itself, like when you bite into it, you can taste like the freshness of the fish, which is pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, let's stay tuned for the next course guys and uh, go from there. Be very careful with this, guys. I believe this is a Japanese shrapnel. Uh, cheers. Mm. The fish on this one is a little more firmer and just a bit too much wasabi, I find. It got like the tenderness and the spicy on that fish piece. But yeah, shrapnel, I would say out of the ones I've had so far, I, I didn't really like that one. But anyways, we'll continue on. Dive into the scrounge and 
It's progressively getting more and more. That's how he's trending towards. Um, and this one, it's like a step up in firmness, I find. And. In terms of the firmness in the wasabi head, it's just like went a step up. So we'll see if that's the trend of these rolls here. So stay tuned. It's so neatly. Cheers. fish on that was it's fresh it's nice and tender uh, the texture is different from the previous one mm, but I thought it was like decent for that one but we'll wait for the next one and just go from there Presented. Cheers. Mm. We'll wait for the next one. <laughs> Masterpiece right here, guys. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Probably my favorite roll I've had so far. Usually for the blue fin, like. <clears throat> The other ones I had like salt, uh, salmon, crispy texture. This one it was kind of like eating a full on meal. It was kind of a little interesting, like the creamy umi and the on top of the fish. Just a whole layered experience. Very delicious. I'm gonna definitely ask uh, what that was because that's probably one of the best pieces of sushi I've had in my life actually. Uh, but yeah, stay tuned. So this one is extremely packed. It has utoro, uh, umi, some egg roll, 
good. I forgot what this last one is. I need some wasabi on top. And wrap in sushi, of course. Um, seaweed. Like I already said, guys, this is most likely going to be my favorite one thus far. Cheers. The seaweed overpowered it just a little bit, but I like the combination of all those sea animals together. It kind of gives you that like experience that like you're just opening your mouth and eating all those animals in the ocean where it's a pretty good experience. Uh, but yeah, just stay tuned for the next one and uh, stay tuned. a piece of a uh, nigiri uh, fish on a bed of rice. Cheers guys, tutorial. It's nice and silky. It's fairly solid. Um, it's not so much melt in your mouth kind of fish, but it's near damn close. You may as well stay tuned for the next. This is the uh, last piece on the menu. I just ruined the uh, plate in here, but um, yeah. we need the egg roll and the rice. You want me to hold it so that you can play it properly? Uh, no, okay. I'll just use this bigger spoon. Get it in one shot. Okay, uni, egg row, rice. Cheers, guys. The egg row burst with juiciness, and the uni is very creamy. Um, Fish eggs, they burst with flavor. Um, it's it went well with the uni. <clears throat> but 
but I was expecting something more firmer, but I think the whole concept of that one is just like a silky burst of freshness that you can get like from seafood, and that proved to be just that, so we'll see what's up next, guys. Cheers with the caviar. It's a balancing act right now, guys. Both in combination, silky, creamy. Now, that is like fighting for top spot between the kumi roll I had with the scallop and this one. But yeah, we'll see what's next up. I think it's gonna be more sides because we finished, I think 14 dishes so far, but stay tuned. for me to eat this in one shot. Oh! Uh, the unagi or the eel. It has a nice light coating to it. It doesn't seem like a heavy piece there, which is nice. Um, it's funny because they came up uh, with wet naps after I had that little in the sap. <laughs> but uh, yeah. I mean like, that unagi piece, I've had it from other places and uh, it just seemed like it was very nice and light. And the sauce on the outside, it wasn't too heavy, so it was really good. And uh, yeah, we'll stay tuned for the next one. So this is a massive, massive uh, seaweed wrap roll. I call this like a submarine man just because it's so massive. Here. Where's my body pack? Loaded inside. First time I'm seeing this of this nature. Uh, I'm grab it. Don't need to worry about like grabbing this one just because just bite into it. Thank you. 
crispy. A little bit of the salty. Yes. Overall, it's just like a submarine of like fish, rice, seaweed. It's like three or four, like six rolls in one. Isn't it? Uh, six, like a roll, but cut up into pieces into one. Pretty awesome. The crunchiness of like the green onions, I think, in there, um, complement the fish very well. And the seaweed adds a nice salty flavor to it, but uh, we'll stay tuned. Nice and bouncing. Tomago has like a texture like flan. It's like not even firm, just like chewy. But yeah. Tons of color. Stay tuned for the next one. Cap off uh, an amazing experience, sushi gin, 14 dishes, and a few after the fact with miso as well. Anyways. Mm. Well, it was on topic. Kind of has a texture like a um, this creamy, like sour, sour cream, right? Mm. But anyways, and to a delicious omakase. Shout out to the chef over there. Cap it off. Uh, it is on Nelson. So it's like on Nelson, just off of Bramble. Uh, one of the first omakases, one of the first times having otoro. No, I've had otoro, uh, uni, mm, and just omakase experience. Very warm, inviting, and uh, highly would recommend just getting a reservation just because uh, the whole experience takes like one hour, one and a half, maybe even up to two. Yeah, so it's kind of lengthy. Uh, be mindful of it. Clear out your schedule just to make time for that. And uh, Sushi Gin, downtown Vancouver. Oh my gosh, experience, just definitely check it out. Uh, the time that I went was February, like going out to March, like late February. So Q1. So the time I went, it had a lot of uni. So be mindful of that, like if you go. They do have uh, seasonal fish. So if you go like in August or something like that and they don't have uni, then kind of be mindful of that. Anyways, that's my thoughts, closing remarks. Very delicious and uh, until next video, guys, peace.